Hi, and welcome. I'm excited today to talk about my new laptop. I actually got it a couple of months ago, so I've been using it for a while. I, I, I tweeted about this and talked about it a bit here in the channel that I was going to upgrade from my Surface Pro X, which I've used for two years, and which is an absolutely beauty of a device that, I, that, I, that I've loved, I've used, um, and I didn't see the need to use any other device until I have to edit more videos, I have to do more work, and all of a sudden, um, the Surface Pro X, which is a thin and light tablet computer, and it's not designed for that kind of heavy work, um, doesn't suit my my lifestyle anymore, my use case. So now I need a workhorse, uh, more powerful laptop that can do video editing on the go. And so I got myself a Surface Laptop Studio. Um, we're going to unbox it and talk about it in what we now call simplified review. Simplified review is simply review where we just give the experience of how we use it from when we unbox it all the way to the first few months and give you a user perspective, okay, not just text, uh, um, specs and benchmarks. This is my experience using it in case you want to get it or in case you are you are in the market looking for something like this. This is an absolutely beautiful device, but we're going to get into it. First, the the model I got is the maxed out version, the one with uh, 32 gigabytes of RAM, uh, two terabytes of storage. It's got uh, the NVIDIA RTX 3050 Ti, which is the highest uh, GPU that comes in this laptop. So let me just do a quick run through of the spec I got and what it has. It's a 14.4 inch pixel sense flow display. That's what Microsoft calls it. Basically, it's got a refresh rate of between 60 and 120 hertz flexible refresh rate on the screen. Um, it's good. I don't feel that too much, but it's good. People talk about 120 hertz a lot, but for a laptop, I don't really know. It's, it's, it's nice to have out. I would say like that. It's got 201 PPI, aspect ratio of 3 by 2 as Microsoft does for all the Surface um, devices. It's 3 by 2 which is a very good aspect ratio for productivity. Um, it's a touch screen of course and it's a very beautiful, very very beautiful um, uh, screen this. I like it a lot. Also, um, like I said, I got the one with the i7 and the NVIDIA 3050 Ti. There's also the i5 model and, and the, 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 the ones just with the integrated graphics, the XE graphics without any dedicated uh, G4 graphics. The 3050 Ti has got four gigabytes of uh, RAM on it, VRAM. Uh, it, of course, it's got pen support. It works with the Slim Pen 2, which I'm gonna talk about uh, soon also on that. I've got my pen here. Yeah, so I'm going to talk about how the pen integrates with this. Um, what else is important? It comes with Windows 11, of course. Uh, the keyboard is amazing. We're going to talk about that. The trackpad is beautiful. Um, it's haptic trackpad. We're going to talk about that also. It's got 3.5 mm jack and some USB-C Thunderbolt ports. We're going to talk about that. And uh, yeah, there are more things to talk about. So let's quickly go through um, the unboxing. So this is the box that it came in. Um, I got it a couple of months ago. In the box, you find the white box, of course, which has uh, the Microsoft branding. Of course, it's very beautiful. Um, I like to keep the box. And if you can see just on this side here, that is the box of this device because it's so beautiful. I had to keep it. I mean, why wouldn't you? It's such a beautiful device. So all the specs are in the box, uh, Wi-Fi 6, Thunderbolt 4, and blah, 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 blah. Let's get into the box and see what's there. Like I said, it's a pretty box, but inside the box, you'll find the device itself sitting on top of it, and it just it just calls to you with how pretty and how beautiful um, this device is. And let's, uh, it's also hefty, we need to say, when you lift it up for the first time, you feel the heft. Coming from a Surface Pro X user, this is really hefty at about four pounds. Um, it's just around uh, just under two kg of weight. It's heavy, uh, but of course, when you want to use a powerhouse of a device, you have to know that this is going to be heavy. It's got some paperwork in the box, and it's got the power brick, which is a 102 watts uh, power brick. So now to the device itself. Um, this is the 
on the on the left side it's got two USB-C Thunderbolt um, no other ports for connectivity uh, on this device no USB-A um, on the right side it's got surface connect and the 3.5 mm jack I like the fact that it has a 3.5 mm jack I use it a lot when I edit videos to, to plug my headset on it i also like a lot the surface connect i hope microsoft never stop using this i like the fact that it's magnetic and it's also very diverse because you can use it to plug all your peripherals if you have a surface dock so i like that 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 connect let's open uh, and see what's in the device itself um, like i said it's really pretty it's made of aluminum and uh, magnesium when you open it you'll be greeted with this beautiful screen like i said it's uh, 201 pixel and the keyboard is amazing it's amazing simply put for me the keyboard is the best keyboard i've ever used in a laptop now i've not used so many laptops so i'm not a standard for that but it is amazing um, very beautiful to type and the trackpad the haptic trackpad is is just it's just beautiful and very accurate i i i love this device as you can tell uh, there's so much to talk about, but let's go through the unboxing. Of course, um, on the screen, you've got a very good full HD um, camera. Microsoft always put very good, good cameras um, on their devices. And it's also got um, the Windows Hello um, camera and two far-field uh, microphones. Talking about the pen, it's good that it's got this storage underneath where you can store the pen it just magnetizes on there and it charges there so it's good that it's designed for it if you look under you see the pen is always there and when you throw this on your bag the magnet is so strong it never falls off so yeah um it's good to have a storage space for your pen and to charge on the go and this is of course a touch sensitive screen so you need a pen to do a lot of work i work with pen a lot i write a lot on my device uh, we're going to talk briefly on the or soon about the shapes and the various forms that you can make this into why it's a studio in the first place which is why we bought it um, so the pen comes in handy to interact with the screen beautiful beautiful device as you can tell i love it so you can pull it up and this is what microsoft calls the studio mode or the stage mode if you want to watch content or do something uh, play a game or something and then you can put it flat on the tablet mode so if you want to write or engage the screen with a pen you know you want to read something on the couch this is beautiful and it got this slightly angled when you put it flat so that you can write a bit let's just go around it it's 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 a beautiful device it's a beautiful device as you can tell um of course i'm going to talk again about some of the things i don't so much as like about it but for now we're just going through this unboxing and how pretty this device is and what it does. Yeah. You can also slip it over like this and then this is like presentation mode where you want to show somebody what's on your screen on the other side. And when you turn it, uh, Windows 11 is sensitive enough to flip the screen. Uh, behind the screen, you have this kind of cloth-like material that covers the cabling uh everybody talks about this we don't know how durable it will be but i don't know we'll see but it looks durable you can see that's like fabric um, on the back of the screen and the screen flexes is, is it doesn't stay in positions unless on those fixed positions like the laptop mode which is this one here or the stage mode they've got magnet to keep it in those various various uh, positions yeah um so i went on to do of course the setup Let's talk about this angle here. So it's a bit rounded on the edges and some people complain about this. They say um, it's too rounded, it cuts off some things. I, I have absolutely no problem with it. I think it's pretty and it doesn't stop my productivity at all when I use it. Um, so this is the device in a nutshell. Um, we're going to now talk about some of the more detailed uh, use case and my experience with it so far. I completed the setup, of course, and put it in dark theme. You know, all my all my devices are in dark theme. I don't use the white or bright theme for my eyes. So I completed the setup, uh, put everything in dark theme, and I use it, and I love it. Absolutely love it. Let's go to the overhead camera here, and you can see the device right here in person. Like I said, I've used it for a couple of months now, and I absolutely love 
this device. Absolutely love this device. Um, this is the pen, like I was talking about, how you can just store it there and you can see that it charges and it's very firm magnet. You have to use a lot of force to pull it out. Okay, I've talked about the display that is a pretty beautiful display. It's glossy display, of course, um, but it's really clear. This is not this is not LED display. This is just, you know, but this is a very beautiful display that Microsoft has here. Really beautiful display bright and sharp and you can interact it with the pen it's it's, it's really good um, it's a 2.5k display pixel sense is uh, fast refresh at 120 hertz it can go up from 60 to 120 hertz uh, when you engage the pen on the screen you've got this haptic feedback like it vibrates a bit when you use it this is not on all apps but on some of the apps and it's a good feeling it's, it's try to give you a feeling of writing uh, like pen on paper but of course it's not real but it's good that it's there i like it i like using it um, for the apps that support it the keyboard i talked about it's amazing the trackpad is beautiful it's got very good speakers let's talk about the speakers this is the best speakers i've had in any laptop coming from the surface project this is just miles ahead of it it's clear it's loud very loud and very good um, speakers i think there are four speakers there uh, I don't know where they are, but I hear there are four speakers and they give this studio feel when you play something on it. Now let's talk about performance. So I use it to edit videos and it basically does everything I throw at it. I do 4K video editing on the device and it goes well. It will render the video at about twice the time. So if I'm, I'm doing a 10 minutes video, probably render it around 19, 20 minutes, which is standard for most Windows laptop. Um, it's not the fastest GPU, like I said, it's a 3050 Ti, it's absolutely okay for if you're a video editor or you're doing any kind of productivity work, it's absolutely okay, but if you're going to do heavy gaming, this is not a gaming device, you can do gaming, but it's not a heavy gaming device. If you want to do real heavy gaming, I think you have to go for something like a 3080 Ti or something like that, a, a bigger graphics card, a bigger machine. The processor is really nice, it's a H-series Intel 11 Gen processor. Um, it's, it's, it does everything you need it to do. It's smooth. I have absolutely no problem with it. So I was contemplating buying this device thinking that the 12 gen was just around the corner at the time. Should I just buy a 12 gen, um, machine? So I, I did some research to look at some reviews and, and just have a feel of the 12 gen. What does it do? What do people say about it? And I, I know people say it's, it's, it's a huge step up in terms of, of performance of the processors. But when you look at um, the fact that it's, that means it takes more power, plus I don't really see the advantage to me. I'm going to edit video. I'm using the Surface Pro X and with the Microsoft SQ2 processor in it, which is much, much slower than an Intel processor. But it was doing everything I wanted it to do apart from video editing very well. So coming into a H-series processor, this is just like miles ahead. It's absolutely sufficient power for all i need the history processor is good the, the graphics is good for video editing flexibility is another reason why i love the device of course i showed you um, that we can go from the stage mode the tablet mode the laptop mode um, this, which is like i said one of the special features of this device what is my summary therefore of using this device i've used it for three months like i said um, i think it's a really amazing device i've used it for a while now and i absolutely love using this device what is my experience so far with this device first i would say it's a great laptop for productivity for casual gaming for creativity for all-round use so this is not the the best in one this is not the best tablet it's not the best gaming laptop this is not the best productivity laptop but this is very very good all-round laptop all in one you want to game a bit you want to be productive, you want to, to video edit, you want to do uh, photo editing, some productivity stuff, some creativity stuff, you do some architectural stuff or whatever you do. This is a device that you're sure will run everything very well. Not perfect, not be the best in class, but it will run everything very well. So to have one device, uh, I mean, the alternative for this, if you're in if you're in the Apple world, is you have to get a MacBook Pro and you have to get uh, an iPad Pro. 
two devices to do what this device will do. But this is one device. It is an expensive device. This SKU that I have uh, maxed out is around 3,100 US dollars. I got it when there was a promo on it. So I got it for like 2,600, um, 2,700. But without any kind of discount, this is over 3,000 US dollars. So it's an expensive device, but it's a great, great device. For a tablet, it's a bit heavy. Like I said, at four pounds, it's difficult to hold it in your hand and want to write on it. You know, you feel the weight after a while, but it is, it can work as a tablet, it can work as everything. Um, so it is basically a premium all-in-one with absolutely no regrets. Do I want improvements? Maybe a next gen could have a slightly stronger GPU of a 3060 Ti or something, 4060, which is what's coming out soon. Um, maybe that, I don't know what else I can ask for for in this device it does everything i i want basically it's uh, it's an amazing device so i absolutely love it as you can tell it's now my daily driver it's what i use every day when i go out the surface laptop studio so if you have any questions you have or you have one of these devices and use it and you have um, feedback for us what you think it's great or what you think needs to be improved in the next iteration or anything just let us know in the comments below and let's engage about this i'm going to do a video why um, I, I i talk more about why i decided to let go of my surface pro x so stay tuned for that and there are more videos like i said i have so much to unbox and to talk about in terms of gadgets here so please stay tuned if you're not subscribed to the channel please do if you have any questions any conversations let's engage in the comments section below uh, please like the video if you do share it if you think someone needs the information thank you for watching see you in the next one